feather, the spay feather, this one here. Now, bay, what this is a white eared pheasant dyed or dip dyed, started off chartreuse and then through a bit of a sunburst, a red at the tip. I mean, you see it a wee bit stronger if I put it together. It's just, as you can see, the build up of colour. You can see the, the red, just the red tip. So basically, I'm putting the whole feather in, doing it chartreuse, fluorescent yellow even, and then working your way through with the different colours, just dipping it in till it sets. Now, it's something you don't have to do. I mean, it's a bit of fun. I mean, there's one wee bit dark on the red side at the tip. Now, the tying is much the same as, that's the way I like to tie spay flies, or that spay style fly. The hook, uh, this is a blue heron, size 2, uh, much like the Daiichi, it's a nice style, it's a nice wire, nice strong wire. Thread, I'm just going to use a black thread, the uni thread and 8 and It's quite a simple, as I say, quite easy to tie. For the body I'm going to use some wool, this is a fluorescent a chartreuse wool and a black wool. And what I'm going to do is basically start off by Putting a layer of thread down the shank, on the way down, I get to this point here, and we start tying in the ribs and the body to save a bit of bulk. Now you add butt tying onto a, a bare hook, but as long as you're nice and tight, you shouldn't have any issues with it. Now the main rib is an oval silver tinsel. In this case, this is a small, and then. The second rib is a opal mirage and large. This one here. As I say, I'm going to wind down, tying these in. Nice and tight. Now you stop where you want. I mean, you can stop in line with the point of the hook. Or, meaning when you let the bobbin go, it's in line with the point of the hook. Or when you round the bend. I usually pick about, say, just before the barb, especially if I'm putting a tag on, and the tag, or the first part of the body, or it's going to be the fluorescent or the chartreuse wool. There are three strands making up the, the wool, so I'm going to remove one, I don't, I don't want three, so it's quite simple, and unravel it, pull it away. Catch it the length you want, say one third or so, and then nice and tight, Wind up. Now I have waxed the thread at the beginning, so I can add a bit more wax just to give me the extra grip that you need. Just take your time. About that point there. Then I'm going to bring up the wool. Just open the fibres so they're in line. Start at the back. You'll see it once they spin, so just take it back slightly. Give it a nice smooth, smooth body. This point here. Go back a turn or so. And then two or three turns to catch it in. It does pay to keep this a full length of the body so you have no steps. And what I like to do is just bring my fingers in. Quickly take the thread up, pushing it. Just quickly grabbing it and then coming back down. You'll get a nice smooth body, so don't worry. There we go. We tie in our hackle, tie it in by the tip. We don't want to be quite a long fibre, so you'll use this one here. I see this is a good colour combination that I'm sure would work for steelhead as well as salmon. Catch it on the top. Yeah, I'm going to trim this a full length. I'm going to get my black wool. I'm going to remove this again, there's three strands. So I'm going to remove one and just twist it to open them out. Take one away, just slide it through. I 
catch it the full length of the body. Now what I'm going to do, like I did earlier, just first speed, take the thread quickly up, and then come back down. Nice and tight. Then take the thread back up. Can you bring my wool up? And again, I'm going to unravel it as I go. Just twist it so the the wool goes in line, so there's no twists in it. Swat your way up. Take this point here. Screw it in. And trim away. Now I'm going to bring my the Sopo Mirage, I'm going to bring it up, but I'm going to bring it the opposite way that I'm winding the hackle on, or sorry, the body. So I'm winding towards myself. I'm looking around five turns or so. Oh, yep. I mean, this is on for colour. And I come across. Just a couple just to see how it's sitting. That's okay. But thumbs will hold that in. A bit of wax. Now I've got a small pair of hackle pliers here because I'm going to try and use up as much as this hackle as I can. And I'm going to follow the pedal or the opal mirage up just between each turn. So watch you don't draw any fibres. Just allow these fibres to draw, they'll sit back all the way up. And then to this point here, I'm just going to see how the fibres are sitting. They will sit back. And then I'm going to use up the, the hackle to get the colour. One turn in front of the other, drawing it back. The, the, oval, the oval tinsel is going to protect this hackle. I get to this point, just come in, just turn onto the hackle stem, turn onto the hook, again I turn onto the hackle and I turn onto the hook. This will lock in the turns. Now just leave everything at the moment, turn away the waste. Just allow these fibres to sit out. I'm going to do a turn at the back of the hook, so this will basically stop anything slipping off. And then I'm going to counter rib both the hackle and the mirage. Around about five turns. And if you are, if you think you're going to catch in too many of these fibres, just take your time, remove these fibres, or just pull them out of the way. I've got a couple in here, so what I'm going to do is just go back, get them. Always keeping the oval, uh, the oval tinsel nice and tight. It is holding things together. You could use wire if you want, if you feel it's a bit stronger, and it will be. Get to this point here, I'm going to draw the fibres back. Just draw them back. And then I'm going to do like a full turn, come underneath. Catch in the oval tinsel. Nice and tight. Now what I'm going to use is the, a hair dryer just to draw these fibres back. Because they are slightly twisted out with the stem. So if I get the hair dryer, just a normal hair dryer. And just roll them in your fingers, the fibres lightly, no, no force. And you can see how the these are going to sit. You just twist it so you can see. And they'll sit back for you, nice and easy. Now what I'm going to do is put a front hackle on this. This is a mallard flank dyed. It's basically chartreuse. Looking for quite a long fibre. I've got two or three here, so well marked. There you go. That's a nice, nice mark. Good length in the fibre. You can have it short if you want. You want to tie this really in by the tip, close to the tip as you can go, because that wee half turn makes a difference. So then catch that on. Good. 
Two or three turns up. Trim away the waste. Then we just draw these back. Now you can have a lightly dressed, it's up to yourself. I want a nice hackle on this. Plenty of colour. Just watch your fingers, draw these. Take your time when you're winding the hackle up. Once you're happy, you follow up with the, the thread and then put a ninth degree bend into the stem and allow the thread to come in onto the stem. Trim away. We've got a wax on with thread and then we tidy up the head area. Okay, we've got a wee bit more wax. Bring them through your fingers. It'll sit better once it's been fished. Then with the, the bronze mallard, we've got a right and a left large bronze mallard feather here. And uh, I've been using them already, so a couple of ways of putting a wing on. The easiest way is just to, you could, I, I like to double up on sometimes the wings to make it a wee bit stronger, a wee bit heavier, which I'm going to do. So what I'm, gonna, I'm just going to come in here and move what I don't want. Just going to tear it off, look at the length. This is some of the finer stuff at the bottom. And I want some the better stuff at the top. You can cut away with the stem, it's up to yourself. I'm just going to tear it away. Do the same on the other side. One. Again, two, just look at how wide it is. Just check. It's fine. Now, the thing about doing tying in these bronze mild wings is not to fight them. So you're seeing, I'm just going to line up, this is the two small, the, the, the lighter colour pieces. Just to the back, back of the hook. Now, you can fold it so it's on like a small roof like. And then come over a light turn or two. Position the wing. So we quick look, see how it's sitting. It's always my side is perfect, but the far side's not. So I'm just going to go back. Again, line it up. Don't put a lot of pressure on these fibres. The more you mess about with them, the less likely they are for to sit. Caught in my pinching loop. Just a wee quick look. It's fine. Now I'm going to do my side first. With the, the main part. Just slightly by. Come in, use that there as the under wing to basically no, I'll show you, hold or support the main wing itself. Do the other side, get the length of the lake. Come in with your fingers, hold. Come round. You see what I'm doing? I'm just Allowing the thread turns to control the wing. Very little pressure, you can see how, how it sits. And then we can tighten up when we're happy. Don't fight bronze mallard. The more you fight it, the more it goes its own way. That looks not too bad. That'll do it. It's a fishing fly. Show away the waist. Tighten up now, I need a bit of wax on my thread here. Come into these cut ends. Build the head up. Usually I like to build it from the front up. And into these cut ends, because then they're just basically tucking slightly the tips back. And there you go, you can see that nice, nice wing. Nice fly, nice looking fly. And then I'm going to add a wee bit of flash just to highlight the head. And this is just a bit of mirror flash or crystal flash. Come in, catch it on the side. You got a wax on my thread. 
Now you can, the easiest way to do it is to get some super glue. Just rub it onto the, the flash itself. It's going to form like a nice band around the, or collar if you want to call it. Stick. Once you're happy, you can come in with two or three turns. Trim that away. Wet finish. Same thing, wet finishing is tidying the head up. Easiest way to get the head nice and shiny is to get the super glue first. So all the way around. Allow that to dry. Get a nice nice kind of roof there type shape that you're looking for. Sitting reasonably low, but it will sit anyway. But don't have a name for this fly, I just made it up. It's a freestyle spay. Good style, good colour combination that would certainly take salmon and it would take steelhead. Uh, so I hope you I hope you enjoyed that and that's a freestyle space fly.